yeah, the whole thing was like a really hard time for me. If, if the drugs arrive and the drugs are different, then, you know, I won't do them. You know, why am I always the odd one out? And just started to become depressed. Uh, my dad offered to pray for my knee. Found a, a, like a skate church. Hi, my name's Luke Cooper. Uh, I'm a skateboarder, I'm a Christian, and I'm 23 years old. I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about my story and like the sort of the journey that God's taken me on so far. My dad's a Baptist minister, uh, so from an early age I was always taught about God's taken to church and stuff like that. I remember when I was 10 years old, I went to a Christian Bible camp, so kind of like, you know, like a festival like Glastonbury, but with Christian stuff going on. And uh, I was in one of the meetings and um, some guys were like praying for me, like laying their hands on me and praying for me. And uh, I began to cry and I was like shaking, like physically shaking. I sort of said like, Dad, you know, what, why, what, what's this all about? Why is this happening? And he just said, you know, it's like, it's like the spirit of God, uh, like the presence of God meeting with you. So yeah, so I remember even from like a real young age, like 10 years old, that I sort of I met with Jesus and I had kind of a, an actual relationship with, with Jesus. As I grew up, moved about, moved to schools, uh, I remember it got to a point when I was about 14 and I guess I just got to a point where I felt like, why am I, you know, why am I always the odd one out? Why am I the one that's not doing drugs or why am I the one that's not allowed to swear? And, So yeah, at 14, decided I'd do my things my own way for a bit. Started smoking drugs and stuff. Like, unfortunately, where I was spending like, so much time with my non-Christian friends, like drinking and stuff like that, I stopped skating. Like, yeah, quit skateboarding for about four years because I was just off doing other things. I almost stopped believing in God. Um, yeah, I mean, I remember even in like the, the years that I was sort of walking away from God, like, like God still was, was there with me. Particularly like I remember one time when I was, uh, must have been 15, because it was my last year at school. Uh, like we were all having like a leaving party around my friend's house. Like, but always had like a, a bad feeling about the party. Like that something would go wrong at the party. And like eventually I couldn't put it down to anything else other than the same feeling that I got when I met with God before, like that same sort of like deep down feeling. So I sort of said, okay, God, you know, if you're real and if you're trying to give me a sign that something's gonna go wrong at this party, then, you know, if, if the drugs arrive and the drugs are different, then, you know, I won't do them and I'll take that as a sign from you that something's gonna happen bad if I do do them. And the drugs turned up, they were different, I didn't do them. Um, but yeah, you know, didn't, didn't think anything more of it, you know, like, although perhaps I suppose I acknowledged God, I just thought he was so far away from the things that I was wanting to do with my life. Um, you know, that I just thought like, you know, he doesn't understand me, like, I'm just gonna go off and do my own thing. A couple of years later, I like, joined in with what everyone else was still doing. I just still just felt unhappy, just felt bored. And so I think like it just got to a point where like I'd done things my own way and it just hadn't it, like hadn't satisfied me at all. I was just bored with my life and I wasn't happy with my life. During that period, like I went snowboarding because I'd always go snowboarding like once a year with my family, like on a Christian snowboarding camp. And uh, one time like, I had a bad knee and uh, my dad offered to pray for my knee. My knee got better and I went out the next day and went snowboarding and had a real good time, like, you know, just flying up and down the hills and stuff.
But I remember the next day, like I was going up the ski lifts and I had my iPod in and I was listening and I was listening to some of my favourite rappers and like I felt that I disagreed with what they were saying. Like I noticed that there was a change inside of me and uh, I, I guess that feeling just grew more and more. Then like when I got home, I decided that's it, like I'm going to change, like I'm going to stop hanging around with the guys that I'm hanging around with. Um, like all my friends at that time were saving up some money to go to Ibiza. I decided I was going to save up my money and go snowboarding instead. And yeah, I sort of stopped hanging around with those guys uh, and I started skateboarding again. And yeah, I guess through like a while of just sort of being more open to God, um, I sort of I felt him sort of encourage me to go get a Bible, got a Bible. Um, and started looking around for churches and I found a, a, like a skate church uh, about you know, 15 minutes drive away from me um, called Legacy. So yeah, so I started going there, it was really good, so, like, I found some like, Christian guys to hang out with and skate with. Fully back in, back in the circle and, and you know... Yeah, and then through spending time at the church, like, I began to share my faith with other people. Uh, sort of supporting and encouraging some of the younger guys in the church and yeah sort of like started to like step into a leadership role in the church. Like I went through a, like a time where my parents moved away and I stayed in Essex and I stayed like living with my church and working with my church and I think after a time of just going through some hard experiences like people that I was working with uh, like falling away from God and uh, sort of splitting up with my girlfriend and, and all sorts of different things that I just got really down and just started to become depressed. And then it got to a point where like my depression stopped me from being able to work in the church um, and I had to, had, to, had, to, had to leave my church, had to move away, uh, went and lived with my parents again like the other side of the country, started all over again, new friends, new place and all that sort of stuff. Thing was like a really hard time for me, and I think skateboarding got me through that so much. Like, uh, just you know, even when I, like when I found it hard to talk to God because I was so angry with what had gone wrong in my life and and the effect that it was having on me. Like skateboarding was just a safe place to go, to go and just have fun. Um, and I think the whole experience really taught me uh, a lot about myself and and about God because I mean I spent a lot of the time being really angry with God, like. If you're in control of the world and if you're such a powerful saviour, then why, why am I finding life so hard? You know, because, you know, you know, going through depression, I just felt so low and so upset and so angry. Um, and nothing really, like, miraculous happened to, to change that. I think I just, I came through it, you know, through support from my family and through, through prayer and, and through skateboarding and through, like, taking drugs, antidepressants and stuff like that. Like I eventually came through depression and I feel like I've got to a point now where I'm just like stronger in my faith, almost like I've earned my stripes, um, which is cool I suppose. And yeah, like I've come full circle now where I'm, I'm working for the church again, uh, doing some skateboarding stuff uh, here today in a skate park, spending some time with some guys that run skate camp, just encouraging them in their faith and uh, encouraging them in their skateboarding. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to what God might do with the rest of my life, really. Looking forward to spending some more time skateboarding and some, some more time worshipping Him.